Hey Curly World, it's your favorite curly girl, Athena, also known as Curl Goals, and welcome to my YouTube channel. That was cringe. Hey YouTube, welcome to my very first YouTube video. Now, my name's Athena, on Instagram I'm known as Curl Goals, and a lot of y'all might know me basically from Instagram because that was my main platform. That's the only platform I use, but I kept getting questions like, Hey, do you have a YouTube? I can't find a YouTube. Oh, if you had a YouTube, I'd really subscribe. And before I would be like, I don't need YouTube. Like I have Instagram, bro. But like, then I thought about it and I was, kept getting like questions about it. And I was like, maybe they do really want one. So I bit the bullet and now I'm here. So basically my goals for this channel is to make everyone feel welcome and build a community. You know, we can all share tips and tricks. Lord knows I need some, I need some tips too. I mean, I'm not a super mega expert on everything. So I'd love to learn about different hair and different remedies. That would be great. We can all learn together. So since this is a community, all hair types are welcome. All skin tones are welcome. And it doesn't matter if you're a girl or guy. Guys gotta know how to do their hair too. So, with that being said, it is wash day. And my hair's not, I mean, too bad. It's it's kind of fine, but since it's wash day, I just want to get it out of the way, basically. So with my current setup, I can't feel myself shampooing in the shower, unfortunately. I know, lame, but I gotta work on that. But I will come back with my deep conditioning process and how I style my hair. Hey, I'm back from the shower. Ooh. Got my wet hair. I'm ready, we're ready to move. We're ready. So what I'm using today is the Unicurl Element Moisturing and, Sil and Silkening Deep Conditioner. This actually has climbed its way to the top to be one of my favorite deep conditioners. The whole line, first of all, smells amazing. Mm. And the slip on this is unreal. So I'm about to use this. And the fact that it just glides in and moisturizes my hair. Mm. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Amazing. Oh, child, amazing. Yeah. So I wash my hair twice a week and I refresh it at least once a week during the winter because my hair gets really dry. So every time I wash my hair, I deep condition it. So twice a week, my hair's getting a lovely mask in it. And I can say that's helped me with the moisture, keeping my hair very moisturized, keeping it intact, helping it grow and retain length because my hair's moisture. I'm just gonna go in with the Unicurl um, hair oil. And then I just, lather it Ooh, to the side of my hair and I focus mostly on the ends because that's the oldest part of your hair so they're more prone to breakage so you just want to make sure that these guys are nice and moisturized easy and simple just put your hair up I'll be sitting under this hot head for 20 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll style my hair. Hey guys, so I'm out of the shower. My hair is whoo, always wet, wet, very wet. This is how my hair with the deep conditioner rinsed out. Looks very nice. So to style my hair, we're gonna use the Moisture Sealing Oil by Unicurl and their, their Supreme Moisture Leave-In Styler. Also, this is one of my favorite stylers. One of the only things I can actually use in my hair, like a one product, because I normally cocktail. It's great. Put my hair in some sections. So 
I'm gonna wet down each section. And you might notice I like to use a lot and a lot of product. how I can use so much product and get away with it because my hair just drinks it up and there'll be no flakes whatsoever. Okay, so I've been natural for three years now and what made me go natural? I had to do a natural, <laughs> a natural um, hair journey just so y'all can see. But my sophomore year, I dyed my hair sophomore year in high school, I dyed my hair brown. And I was already using heat like every week, multiple times a week, you know, if your girl really felt like it. I'd be doing it almost like every other day. It was really bad, like extremely bad. My hair kept breaking off, kept getting shorter and shorter. And um, nah, it was, it was bad, it was really bad. So then I finally realized that I was like, oh, I have to stop doing this to my hair. I'm destroying, I'm destroying my hair. It's getting shorter and shorter. I just gotta go natural, right? And I have a ton of pictures, so many pictures. And it's like so embarrassing, some of the pictures, because some of them I actually thought I really looked good, thought my hair was like popping. Nope, it was thin, it was damaged. I'll try and insert one. And I'll show y'all what we were working with back in uh, 2016. In 2015, it was bad. But so, I started my transition. I stopped using heat that December of 2015. And I just started, um, just started looking at YouTube videos, wondering like, oh, how to get my curls back and stuff like that. Mind you, I had no idea my hair even looked like this, you know? I don't even know. I had no idea what my real hair pattern, curl pattern was. And I was just kind of like confused. I was this method I'm doing right here is called the raking method. It's just where you rake the product through your hair to define it. I transitioned for about eight or nine months. Then into my junior year in high school. Then when I say that August, I kind of cut off a lot of my hair. It was just, it was kind of like a bit chop, but not really. But I cut off a good portion of my hair. And it was mostly the brown. So like you'd see my real growth, which was my black hair, which is this hair. And so I had brown tips, which I actually really loved my brown tips but they were damaged. So eventually I have to cut those off too. But yeah, so I've just been growing ever since and just learning more things about my hair. That's about it. So now that I'm done styling, it's gonna take approximately like 75 years for my hair to dry. So I'll come back when it is dry. So after 76 years, my hair actually dried. As you can see, I got some really good definition. And yeah, I'm overall pretty, pretty happy about it. Now let's just do a little bit more picking. So I am actually really glad that these results came out this well. All right, so these are the products I used in today's wash day, except for the shampoo I left out in my um, bathroom, but I will insert a photo in it. 
here. So I highly suggest these products for any natural from kinky to curly hair. They will give you the max definition. They're really good in twist outs too. I haven't tried it in braid outs, but I know twist outs, my hair was popping and big and beautiful. Kind of like how it is now, but this is a washing though. And I, this deep conditioner, I suggest y'all try it. It's really good. Gives you great moisture and detangles your hair like that. I was shook the first time I used it. I think that's the end of my very first YouTube video. Y'all know what I have to do now, right? If you like the video, smash that like button and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know every time I post. Join the Curl family and I'll see you in the next one. Another cringe moment, but I used to, I used to pretend to be a YouTuber and do like that obnoxious outro, but in all actuality, if you indeed did like the video, feel free to like to like it and actually um, comment down below what you thought of my results, what you think I could do better, and also let me know what you want me to do because I'm new to this whole YouTube thing so I could use some content ideas or what y'all really want to see. So that would be appreciated and hey, if you want to have bomb curls, grow your hair, and just slay life, I mean, why wouldn't you subscribe to this channel? See what I did there? That's it for me today. I'll see y'all next time.